Hi, welcome back to the channel. Well, time now for some more builds on this car. You may wonder why it looks like it does now. It's definitely a bit different with the uh, stealth grill, the vanity strips, the strip on the back, one or two other things, and these holes here. So what's happened? Well, firstly, I was trying to build Keen Suspensions. They're a Belgian firm, and they made a customised 190E called the Jägermeister Benz. So looking like this with the Jägermeister delivery, some awesome wheels, and otherwise the Pandem Rocket Bunny kit that we already were using. So I was trying to build that car for you, and I've quickly shown you the changes. The problem is you cannot put wheels on here as awesome as the ones on the Jägermeister Benz, and that, even more than the lack of much livery available, is what stopped me. So that's that. But secondly, these are an indication that we've applied drift tuning to the car. Okay, rolling back in time to installing the drift tune. Reading the fact I will get all my performance mods back if I remove the tune, and that's good because I did max the car out. And bingo, the car goes lower, for some reason dirtier. It has now a completely stripped out bespoke race interior. I'll try and show you more of that later because I forgot to do that here. And also we have these two uh, holes at the back, which I really should know what they are, but I don't, but they look really good and really motorsport. And this brings me on to something very important, which was brought to my notice yesterday by both the Benny's Motorsport channel and friend of the channel, Victoria, which is that when you go drift, you also get three new liveries. And that's fantastic. So I thought we were a bit short of them. Let's start by looking at all three. So you get a crack and attack. I'm really hoping I can find a real little car that had something like this on because it looks really fun, um, if not a bit over the top. This is, of course, the Sonax, uh, the DTM car, which I've basically already promised I will build. Slightly sad this is only available on the drift livery because it'll look great in a garage, but of course we now have a DTM car that has no grip. Still, I'm not complaining, we have the livery. We then have this, which is, of course, the Falcon livery. So because we have this livery, the first car I'm going to build will be the Falcon drift car. But I'm going to caution you that we don't really quite have all the parts available. And perhaps more critically, the Falcon drift car was the two door, not the four door. But we'll still we'll nip through it. We'll make the car, see what you think. And then we'll go on to another drift build. Now, ideally, you would make this one with a crew colour, which I'm now putting on the screen, but I'll also show you what I think is the nearest alternative in the normal colours. So here goes the crew colour first. I love this colour anyway. And of course, there's a number of cars like the new Infinity we got a while ago that if you put this colour on and the atomic livery, you can make this Vulcan livery. So it's a very useful one to have in your arsenal. Sorry, we sort of rushed to the finished article temporarily because I forgot to insert the alternative paint colour when I was doing the original recording. But if we go down through the greens, you can see that none of them are suitable till you reach gasoline green. And you know, that's it's not a million miles off. So if we just paint the car briefly in gasoline green, you can see what that's going to look like versus the crew color. And then we'll get back to the build. So there we go. That's what it would look like in gasoline green. And I say, I think in isolation in your garage, not looking directly at the photos, I think you'd be happy with that if you can't do crew colors. Starting on the top with arches. Well, I will later talk about the shape of the arches on real car and what we get in the game. However, this car that we're building has a sort of unique kit on. It's not like the Evo 2 kit, so there's no way we can duplicate it. We definitely want the kit to look a bit stuck on. So I think that the bolt on arches painted is going to get you the nearest to this Falcon drift car. The Falcon car has a lot of cutouts at the front and I think that really all we're going to be able to do is race day bumper to get as close as possible to that. For the rear bumpers, I'll be honest, I have not been able to find a full on rear photo, but from everything I can see, the stock bumper is going to be the best. And I will simply leave the exhaust where it is. The car is definitely using a, a very dark black or stealth grille, so that can remain. 
stock headlight covers are fine. Uh, for the hoods, good news is that we have this hood here, which is almost exactly the style of the hood on the car. But the bad news is, where is my black version of this hood? It doesn't exist, so that's another bit of a shortcoming here. We've already dealt with the livery. Around the back of the car, again, as far as I can see by looking through the back window on front-facing photos, we just want no louvers. The respray we've talked about, it's the crew colour twice. For the skirts, we don't really want the arc. The shape on the track skirts is about right, and this little inlet here is fine because the real car has more of what I assume is a sort of fake inlet here, so track skirts. For splitters, the real car doesn't really have anything extra in the way of splitters. It has less than stock, so we'll leave that as none. For the spoiler, there's a few that look good, like this one, this one, but then that one looks better. And I think that that's the one we're going to go for. That is the GT wing. That's quite close to the spoiler on the Falcon Drift car. Sun strips, we want ones at the top, but not at the bottom as far as I can see. So sun strip. Suspension, we don't want it as low as it is. I want to be able to just about see the top of the tyres. Lowered or street. Let's go with street. For wheels, we need to go into Sport and then these Wangan Master painted in frost white. Look really close. For the uh, windows, we want no smoke. That completes the Falcon Drift car. So let's take this out and have a look and then see what else we can build. Actually, in isolation, that is, I'm not comparing directly with the photographs with the black hood or the two doors. It does look pretty good. One of my main issues with the body kit, and that'll probably happen again when we come to other builds, is although the car has squarish wheel arches on the base 190, once the car started to get the Evo kit, it was completely round on the wheel arches and of course we still have squared off wheel arches here and I think that is one of the things that slightly saddens him out about the kit. But anyway, let's... Okay. <laughs> I never did say my drifting skills were any good. I was going to say let's see it in action. Oh, it is nice sort of languid sort of drifts, which I guess you probably get on this sort of long wheelbase sort of car. I do love the drifting in this game. I mean, I, I sort of I sort of want my 190 not to drift, but I needed to play with these liveries. There we go, that completes the not quite correct Falcon 190E drift car. I hope you enjoyed this. There's plenty more builds coming on this particular car, but I'm going to put each build, I think, in a separate video so you can just pick and choose. So for now, it's all the good stuff. Like, subscribe, etc. And thank you so much for watching.